What is up guys? Pup T from Life, Liberty, and the Homestead. And we're back in the pole barn. I mean generally we're always in the pole barn, right? But I'm gonna get started on some demolition or really trying to finish off some demolition and start building more walls and everything else so we can get this goat operation up and running. It's taken a while, but that's all right. So we say, let's get into the video, baby. Here we go. Woo! Okay, so like I said in the intro is I need to finish off some demolition over on the far end of the pole barn. Me and Caleb started that. Uh, I need to get down this one piece of the roof, and I'll show you guys that in just one second. I need to get that down. And then I'm gonna grab some tin from the roof, some of the, some good stuff, some bad stuff, whatever, but I'm gonna start putting it on the side of the pole barn to kind of shut that off. And then hopefully I can get into the pole barn today and start building that last section of wall that for right now will keep the goats and turkey section separated. Although we know it's not really separated because <laughs> They all go wherever, but it'll just have one little entrance and exit for the goats and stuff like that. So I need to find my gloves and then uh, we, we're going to do some demo, baby. Oh, gloves, oh, gloves. What did I do with you? <laughs> I'm looking for my gloves. So as you guys can see, this section of the roof is down, except right here, and I'm not sure what it's being held on by, but I need it to come down so I can start working on that uh, wall over there. And like everything I do, it's got to be sketchy, so... Way. Yeah. All right, like I said, I'm gonna start building these walls up with tin that I got. So we'll see how much tin I got versus how far across or how far up I can go. And we'll go from there, baby. So didn't get much done with building on the side with the tin and uh, building that final wall. When I say final, but we know that ain't true. But let me show you what I did get accomplished. So the other day I came out here and I built this like hay rack system. It's an old sawhorse that was just laying around. I wasn't using it for anything. It wasn't going to be used for anything. And then I had some fencing that was already cut up. And so I built that so the goats have access to hay. Keeps it off the ground for the most part. Of course, once they start getting into it, it'll kind of fall down. But let me show you what I was telling you about hanging the brush. So this is what we do 
usually at a minimum it's every other night so that way the goats have access to some you know leaves and stuff like that and the sheep like it so we do that like i said every at least every other night we try to do it every night it just depends like it's starting to rain right now so i know we weren't going to come back out here so i wanted to get out here get some brush because they didn't get any brush yesterday instead we picked like all the cabbage from our our garden that was just getting tore up by bugs wasn't doing so hot so we pulled that all up and brought that out here yesterday i know the goats enjoy this stuff so i want to get out here and get that for them oh bo there's bo <laughs> he's so friendly it's crazy it's raining right now uh it's supposed to rain till about 11 o'clock it says so i'm gonna go inside the pole barn i think i'm gonna move the turkey roost one more time put in a corner and then i think i'm gonna run the goat wall kind of up the side a little bit so that's what i'm gonna do this morning we're gonna start building a wall so i need to get that done today So I'm gonna have to cut that one. I stripped out the head of it before, so. So I'm gonna put it on this corner, I think. All right, so I moved the turkey roost for like the third or fourth time, but that's all right. So I've secured it into the wall up top on the post. Hopefully the turkeys will begin to use it. But now right behind you is where I'm going to start the wall for inside the pole barn. And I was originally gonna put it right here, going straight across and leave all this space inside here for the turkeys. But with the amount of goats that we're going to be getting, especially over the next 12 months, the more space the goats have, the better off it's going to be, right? But on top of that, at the end of this chute, so it's gonna come and go all this way, end of this chute's where I'm going to build my stanchion for trimming hoofs, giving vaccines checking overall health of the goats and stuff like that so that's why i'm gonna go ahead run it this way and that's what i might get started on i think i'm gonna trim a couple of these real quick and then start bringing in some boards Can I hang up let's do it baby your chickens today are crazy all right so i got some wood i need to If any of it will stretch across this area. So let me tell you, it's been like hot and muggy and it was supposed to rain all this week. Well, it hasn't rained all this week, although we have had a shower here and a shower there. But today I come out here ready to do all this stuff and I don't know what time it started raining, but it rained enough that everything outside the pole barn it's it's so slick where I need to be. Drives me crazy. Make me angry. So let's see if we can't get this this here wall going. And this right here, it may be temporary. Just depends on how the boards end up lining up, or I just make it permanent and build the boards up with it which that's probably the best way to do it so let me go ahead and secure this so i hope you guys enjoyed my video on what it takes to homestead <laughs> you might have been like all you're telling us is it's up to us i mean it is but the the main purpose of that was just to let you know that have that fluid plan plant that seed 
and watch it grow because it will. It's a raining. Off. Get down, bud. Get down, buddy. Get down. Move. Move. Thank you. Not too shabby, huh? Does it meet your specifications? Check it out. Is it partially good? You don't like it? You want me to change some things? What is it? Huh? What you think, boss? Oh, my turkey. My turkey turkey. What's up, my turkey turkey? Oh, are you angry at me? Okay. You be angry at me then. <laughs> oh, George. Don't let that little roosters. Getting his voice there, bud. Oh, let's see. I'll be yours by you sitting with the ladies. I know you don't care. You got the whole crew checking up on me? Turkey! Look at these goats. Look at them. Oh, goats, what are you doing? What are you doing? Chilling. Should be able to get the whole wall done today. So, exactly how I do it right now. I'm not 100%. But, I'm going to get it done today, good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, right? So, I'm back out here in the pole barn, going to finish up that wall is the plan. That way at least I have one thing off the, off the list, but, you know, that's the thing with, you know, homesteading and projects and everything else is, you always have a project that needs to get done or you know one that you kind of put on the back burner for you know one reason or another so essentially what i'm doing is i'm going down here sucking this into the wood itself and then i'll make my way down so that this will be the wall itself but you'll be able to see through it stuff like that so then i'm gonna put a piece of wood coming across the top here This is why you need like 12 people helping you build. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> my glove got caught up in there and it pinched my fingers in there. That's a lesson I don't want to learn again. should be functional so so that's gonna be it guys hope you enjoyed the video got back in the pole barn started with trying to hang some tin on the outside yesterday it just was not having it it was not having it and neither was I so but came back out here today got this wall built put some tin up on the side so now this area creates a U that the sheep and goats will use. Hopefully this weekend we'll get into a couple projects. Hope to get the wild one into some projects this weekend with me. 
maybe we can start uh, building some stalls in here. Something. But that's it, guys. I appreciate you watching as always. One last time, hit the subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Give me some wild comments. Y'all are crazy. I love you. We love you. And we'll see you on the next video.